Hey guys, it's Chris on Calder Valley Cooks. It is Saturday. Tammy's not feeling the absolute best today. It's just kind of a rough day for her. But you know what? I still want to eat. I still have to eat. And it's Saturday and we got ball games and it's halftime. And it is halftime of the 12 o'clock game. So if I make some chili right now at halftime and I hurry up and I got to move, then I can have it ready for the games this evening. So let's make some chili. This is in Tammy's first cookbook, chili. Chili is easy to make. I'm browning some ground beef. I'm supposed to use a medium onion. I've got a couple of small Vidalias and I figure they will take the place of one medium onion. That'll probably be good enough for my, for my onions. I want it chunky, but I don't want like really, really big chunks in there, so it looks about right. Two or three cloves of garlic. That's not the best garlic in the world, but it's the garlic I got. Let's check our ground beef. It's ready, it's brown. So, I'm gonna drain it. I'm not just gonna drain it, I'm going to rinse it off. I'm gonna rinse the fat out of it because we are, you know, still watching our weight. And a lot of people worry, they're like, oh, well that, that takes all the flavor out of it. That does not take, that is not gonna take the flavor. It is chili. It is jam packed with flavor. I forgot, I'm also supposed to have a bell pepper. Okay, so this is a big old bell pepper. It had such a big old pot of seeds, it was hard to usually I'd cut it where the seeds aren't in it. But man, there wasn't no missing no seeds. And we have a lot jalapenos out of the garden. I think I might secretly throw a jalapeno in there. And fresh jalapenos really aren't all that hot. I like the flavor. All right, get that turned off. Take my bench scraper. Wonderful tool, wonderful tool for the kitchen is a bench scraper like that. I took my ground beef, um, I put it in a strainer and I put the ground beef in it and let the grease drain out in a bowl. And then I took my uh, sprayer and I washed out the ground beef. So I'm letting it, um, you know, I'm, I've, I've got it sitting over there in the sink. Of course I ran, like I said, I ran most of the, the grease out. In a bowl. And then the little bit that was left I washed out, which wasn't very much. So we'll let that saute. I'm going to use a touch of olive oil with that. All right, got my garlic press ready. And I'll add that garlic right there at the end of this. A little bit longer. This is just turning a little bit. Just want to get it softened a little bit. Add my beef in. Two cans of diced tomatoes. You know, I didn't really think about, you know, this is halftime and I don't have that much time. But uh, I didn't think about my cleanup time 
So my cleanup time is going to take me over half time, but y'all are in luck. Even though I'm going over half time, my team is winning very handily right now. So I don't have to get in too big of a rush. I can just pause the game. Uh, pause is a great thing. Pause is a great thing. One little can of tomato sauce. Her recipe calls for one can of black beans and two can of kidney beans. Well, I don't have any black beans, so that's okay. We'll adapt and overcome for that too. So here's some kidney beans, dark red kidney beans. And then I have some light red kidney beans because that's what I found. And like I said, she's not feeling like cooking, so I don't want to bother her. Let's not bother her. Let's just cook. Let's just make it. All right, so there's some light kidney beans. That gives it a little bit of color. Then in place of my uh, black beans, I'm going to use these pink beans. I'm sure they're good. I wish I had some black beans. That makes it real pretty. But we got three different colored beans. We've never had pink beans. I think they'll be fine, guys. They're beans. All right, so we got all this in here. Let's go ahead and turn our eye on. All right. Now, spices. Half a teaspoon of black pepper. Okay. We use teaspoon of salt. And there's that. We use a teaspoon of basil or basil as Chef Ramsay would say. Basil. So, teaspoon of basil. and three tablespoons of chili powder. Now, I don't think this is three tablespoons, guys. I surely do not think it is. All right, let me turn off the camera and see if I can find some more chili powder. Oh, uh, look at there. I'd say that's plenty of chili powder. What do y'all think? Three tablespoons. Okay. One, two, And one of those was heaping. We'll keep that between ourselves. Now guys, I think that is it. Let me look back over at the recipe. Let me look back over at the recipe. Why don't y'all look with me? Let's look together at the recipe. Let's make sure before we step away and go back to this ball game. All right, it says, Saute the onions, garlic, peppers, and olive oil. Add your ground beef. Uh, add the remaining ingredients. Cook on low for six hours or on high for three. Well, you know us. You know what's about to happen. We're going to cook this on high. <laughs> That's what happens at the Nichols house. Uh, now I can all, you know, I can add some water if I need to add some water, which I probably will if I cook it on high. Okay, you just have to kind of keep an eye on it. So we've got everything. We had our ground beef, we had our onion, we had our bell pepper, we had our garlic. Uh, we had two cans of diced tomatoes. We had the 16 ounce can of black beans, except we used pink beans. We used two cans of kidney beans, we did that. We used eight ounce can of tomato sauce, we did that. A tablespoon of freeze dried basil. We got that. Um, half a teaspoon of black pepper. We got that. Half a teaspoon of salt. Three tablespoons of chili powder. Guys, you believe that? We just made the chili. Well, it's not over yet. Uh, but we're going to let this cook for three hours.
Okay, even taking the time to, to video, I was able to get everything wiped down, uh, the, the dishes at least in the sink, and then the cans and everything thrown away. And I'm gonna have to rewind a little bit, but I only missed a, a few minutes of the third quarter. So if I had not been videoing and talking, I would have been able to get this done at halftime. So guys, you can do this. You can do it in the amount of time it takes for halftime of your favorite football team to uh, to end. And put the lid off the bottom because it'll, uh, you know, it can't do it when it's that thick. Y'all hear that? Do y'all hear that? Tammy has come in here and she has explained to me that the recipe that I'm looking at is for a crock pot. So I'm not supposed to put it on high on the stuff. So I did the wrong thing. But she said, all I have to do, I put it on a simmer on a, and I turned it down. So I didn't leave it on high, but for a little bit. But anyway, it's sticking. So I put it on a simmer and she says, if I add water, that all the stuff that's sticking on the bottom will come up. Yes, but now that's in our cookware. So everybody can okay. have that privilege. Y'all all rubbed it out and feel good. But because this is a stainless steel cookware and it's the waterless cookware, if he will add a little water to that, it's just gone. and it has to be a good bit, mm -hmm. and put a lid on it, in about 20 minutes, 30 minutes, that stuff will just peel right off the bottom yep. and it'll just be delicious. And it's not bad. Because it's not burnt. Yeah, it's not burnt. It's just But it's a good thing that but I've been watching. he came in here and looked at it. All right, guys, it's halftime of my second game, so let's make a bowl of chili. All right, of course, Tammy was right. The uh, water did the trick. The chili was not sticking to the bottom. It's a nice, chunky, mm, that's good stuff. So it's halftime of my second team's game. I'm gonna be able to get this stuff cleaned up in the sink eat some chili, put a little cheese in it, a little hot sauce. It's going to be delicious. So you guys have a great day and thanks for watching Collar Valley Cooks where we use Tammy's cookbook so that people like me can make chili even when they don't have a lot of time. Thanks for watching guys.